Hey, welcome back everybody. This is another TTM video. We get autographs TTM or through the mail. We've got about eight today, so let's get right to it. We do it by sending our favorite athletes cards and photographs through the mail along with a self-addressed stamped envelope. And uh, when we get responses, we come to YouTube and share the information. The first one is from Parts Unknown, but it is a Brandon Stebbins stamp, so it's got to be a quick return. We know that. We just don't know where it's from. It's from Philly, Harry. It's from Larry Bowen. That's who it's from. Great player there. 75 years old. Played shortstop for 16 seasons. Really good signer. He signed three of three for me, including that 73 tops, which I like a lot. Their spring training complex. Great player. Played for the Phillies and for the Cubs. Don't have a Cubs card. Five times an All-Star. Two times a Gold Glover. About 2,200 hits, which... For a shortstop in the 70s, that was really good. Then he won a World Series ring with those Phils in 1980. Pretty good manager, too. Manager of the year in 2001 with those Phillies. Stayed coaching until uh, 2017, I believe. And now he's a senior administrator with the Phils organization. 12 days, no fee. Always a great return from Larry Boa. Next up, coming from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. There's a note. There's a 10. <laughs> Maury Wills. Didn't sign. Sent the 10 back. And there's a little note in there that caught my eye. 20. <laughs> okay. He's very enigmatic on his signing. We knew that going into it. I was debating sending that card. If you remember, that card cost me a pretty penny. $23 or something that card he had some disputes with tops that's a Fleer card and I think a lot of people consider that his rookie card 63 um, don't know if I'm going to send 20 I don't know that, that becomes a $45 project altogether I'm not sure I don't know I don't know let me know down below what you think <laughs> very strange I was lucky to see that I just caught my eye when I was uh, pulling those out there 20. <laughs> oh, well, Maury Wills. Okay, next up, Kansas City, Missouri. So what, we've got seven then. Seven good returns anyway, hopefully. There's Dennis Leonard with that whole packet of cards. He signs five for $10, and we sent him five. Did the same thing about six months ago, probably. He's got a great signature. Look at that. 87 tops, 76 Two seventy sixes, and then the uh, senior league card there on the Sun Sox, Fort Myers Sun Sox, super signature. I'm gonna put them all together. I like that seventy eight tops too. Put those all together. He signs uh, two for five, and, or five for ten. So I sent him five both times along with a ten dollar bill. Got it back real quick. Seven days. He's seventy years old now. He played for thirteen seasons, seventy four to eighty six. Let's see if we can see his. Um, this is his final card there. You'll see the stats on the back. Look at those 20 win seasons. Won 20 games or more, four, three out of four seasons there in the late 70s. Really great pitcher. Then he got injured and just never could recover from his injury. Out of baseball by 86. So that was his final card there. He's in the Royals Hall of Fame. They love him. Uh, seven days. That fee is two for five or five for ten. So, Baltimore, Maryland. Good morning, Baltimore. Get my opener straight. Ooh, Ozzie Newsom doesn't typically use the hard card. He did the same thing last time, I believe. Just put him in there. That's okay. 84 and 85. Like those two cards a lot. Both those sets. Ozzie Newsom, Hall of Fame, 99. Took a while, but he'll get him back to you. He's still free. He's a Hall of Famer who's free. Not many of those left. Um... Played 13 seasons, 78 to 90, all for those Cleveland Brownies. Three times in the Pro Bowl, NFL's 1980 All-Decade team. You know I love those All-Decade teams. Up and down the lineups with those Hall of Famers. If you see someone on the All-Decade team who's not in the Hall of Fame, you might want to start buying their cards because I think they might be at some point. There aren't many who are on the All-Decade team who aren't in the Hall of Fame. Let's put it that way. 
And he's in the College Football Hall of Fame, 1994, Pro Football Hall of Fame, as he tells you, 99. Could make it in as an executive for what he did with the Browns and then the Ravens when they moved to Baltimore. Really great executive. Won two Super Bowls there with the Ravens. 79 days, I believe, on that one. No fee. 79 days. Next up, speaking of Cleveland, it is from Cleveland. That was from Baltimore. Rick Manning. Nice. Believe it or not, the first time we've gotten Mr. Manning back. He's got a great signature, too. He's been a great signer for years. I don't know why I haven't sent to him before. He's got a lot of cards. 77, 78, 76, and 79. A little run there. Let's put these in order. There you go. Nice. Pretty good outfielder. Gold glove in 76. Um, mailed to his home in Arizona, but uh, I knew he was a broadcaster for the Indians. So that's still a quick return. I think I got that back in less than two weeks. <laughs> 13 days from Arizona to Cleveland to my house. Played for those Indians. Played for the Brewers for a few years at the end of his career. Um, 14 seasons altogether. Still working as a broadcaster since 1990 on those Indians games. Those Guardians games. I'm sorry, Guardians. That's ridiculous. <laughs> 13 days, as I said. Next up, Parts Unknown. Another one for Parts Unknown. There's Vance Law cleaning those spectacles. Hopefully he cleaned them before he signed my cards. He's got a great signature, a lot like his dad. Similar writing. Bob Long and Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray is through Pass Pros now, I believe. Vance Law on the 85. That's got to be a Topps Traded. Yep, 73T, and then 91, high series. So he's got two upper decks probably. He's in the tra their version of the traded, the high series. Pretty cool. He was drafted by the Buckos, the same team his dad played for and was an all-star for back in the 50s and 60s. World Series champ in 60, and then they drafted Sun Vance. Played two seasons, 81 and 82, I think, for the Pirates. And... uh Dad was an all-star pitcher. Vance was an all-star infielder. Making the all-star team not in that card, but in this card for the 88 Cubs. Look at that season he had in 88. All-star Cubby. Legendary Cubby, I mean. <laughs> They're all legendary when they play for the Cubbies. Let's see. They get that glare off that one. All right. How many days? 13 days. He coached uh, at BYU, his alma mater, for about... 10 or 12 seasons after he uh, left the game. He's 64 years old now. All right, next up, making Georgia. Making, what are you making, Georgia? Ooh, let's see here. We have a little note from Manny Fernandez. Got two of the same card, 75 tops. He worked me up. Put num his number 75. Got a little smudge on that one. That's okay. Put 17 and 0. Nice signature. Let's see here. Note. Who was the best offensive lineman you faced in your career? John Hanna, Patriots. Yep, not a bad choice there. He's one of the all-time greats. Guards. He's 70. Manny Fernandez is 75 years old. He was a defensive lineman. He played both defensive tackle, as it says on that card, and defensive end. Eight seasons, 68 to 75, all for those Dolphins. Two-time second-team All-Pro, two-time Super Bowl champ. Probably should have been Super Bowl MVP in, like, in Super Bowl seven. 17 tackles and a sack. Instead, his defensive uh, teammate, Jake Scott, was the uh, MVP of that Super Bowl. Ten days, no fee, superb player, Manny Fernandez. Last one, Houston. Not, not just Houston, but North Houston. Another great football player, Dan Pastorini. Another smudge. Using some smudgy Sharpies, these guys are. 73 tops, 77, and 73. Those two came out really good. Dan Pastorini. Another great guy in those 70s. He's a 72-year-old quarterback. Played for 13 years. Um, mostly for the Oilers. 
really good Oilers teams in the 70s just had the misfortune of playing behind those Super Steelers teams. Never could get past them in the playoffs to push through to the Super Bowl, especially thanks to a blown call in 79. Right, Mike Renfro? That's probably available on YouTube. Go click that one. That's a blown call. No replay back then, of course. He did win a Super Bowl later in his career. Uh, traded to the Raiders, was a starter. Then he broke his leg in 1980, and uh, Jim Plunkett replaced him, took over, and the rest is history. But he has a ring, and I have his autograph. So, quick return, seven days, no fee, Dan Pastorini. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Seven, got eight, not counting Maury Wills, and a ten spot. What do you say? Should I send him the 20 to get that autograph on that card? Or should I just end the nightmare? That, that card is giving me i don't know what do you think give me your uh, opinions down below also tell me what your favorite one was if you sent to dennis leonard if you remember him winning 20 games in the 70s let me know down below leave a comment also if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and click that subscription and then ring that bell and you'll be notified of all my future videos thanks for being with me today and we'll see you soon